Welcome to Jackie Land. Yeah. Good morning, friends. I'm sitting in the Starbucks line, of course. Um, I am off to work in a few minutes because we have a meeting this morning that I found out about like two days ago. Um, we officially have a new manager, and so um, she was one of the girls who was like on the staff uh, as a stylist, and so they like hired from within basically. And um, now that she is in charge, it's probably because of that. Um, so I don't know like what she's, you know, gonna talk about or say, but we have a meeting. So I'll be going to that and then I will have my day of clients, which I think is fully packed. I think, I think, I hope. Um, yeah, so we'll see how today goes. I woke up at six, 15 this morning so that I could work out before work because I normally wake up at like 7 on salon days and work out before work and I was like well since I have to be up like pretty much an hour earlier than normal do I want to do that like do I want to work out after or you know just do it before but I just decided to just do it and you know I don't know. It was fine. I actually naturally started kind of waking up like 10 minutes before my alarm went off. So that was good. And then Quentin was already up getting ready for work. So uh, yeah, I worked out this morning already. And then um, there was an episode of Shark Tank that was on that I got to watch while I was working out. So that was awesome. And then I um, got ready. Yup. I don't have anything exciting to say this morning, so I will let you know how it is after work and talk to you guys later. Bye! So something pretty cool just happened at Starbucks. Um, the guy in front of me, he actually paid for my drink in the drive-thru, but I'm not sure if it was like a random act of kindness thing because that's super cool and I like passed it on and whatever, I love that. But I'm not sure if it was that because he kept looking back at me in his side mirror and smiling at me. So, I mean, I don't know what the benefit of that would have been if it was like a like flirty type thing because he's already gone. So it's not like I could be like, oh, let me give you my number, which obviously wouldn't happen because I'm married. But the point is, what would have been the payoff if it wasn't a random act of kind of thing? Maybe he was just really excited that he was, he knew he was about to like bless me and he was like excited about it. I don't know. But. Pretty cool. If you're going through a drive through today and you uh, feel it in your spirit and you can afford it, maybe like, you know, pass it on where you are. <laughs> now I'm officially off to work and I have about 15 minutes. I should be good. I hope. We'll see. Bye. Hi friends. So I'm just leaving the salon right now and today was like not great. I had one client all day. It was the first hour of my day. And I had to come in early for a um, meeting. So that was not fun. But it was kind of cool because I got to catch up with some of the girls and stuff. And then at the end of the day, I got trapped by this lady who needed um, to be color matched in a certain color. But like, the, there's like different consistencies and stuff. And I didn't want to like BS her. I was like, I don't really know. So I'm just going to be honest with you. And we're going to find somebody else who does know. And um, unfortunately, the people who did know were all busy. So. During that time, she's like, oh, well, can you help me with lipstick colors? And she asked what I was wearing, and of course, what I was wearing we don't sell in the store, blah, blah, blah. So, like, great. So, I'm helping her find lipstick, and problem number one is she shows me a picture of a color of lipstick, and it is clearly orange. Slightly red-orange, but orange, and she thinks it's red. So, I'm like... Okay, problem number one. Problem number two is she doesn't want to try them on her own hands, so I'm trying them on, which is fine, except I'm white and she's black. So it's not going to look the same on me as it does on her. So I'm like showing her swatches and she'll be like, oh, I like that one. And she'll try it on herself and she doesn't like it. And I'm like, well, because I'm white and you're black, like it's going to look different. So whatever. But while I was shopping, I found this stuff. The color is Dominique. It's Buxom Lip Gloss. And I guess it's a plumping lip gloss, which we'll see if I like that. But um, it's so pretty. And we're going to try it together, friends. We're going to try it together. Can you see that? Oh, it's so pretty. It's just like a clear gloss, but like sparkly. So you can use it as a topper or by itself. So we're going to try it. We're going to try it together, girls, ladies. 
We get it all, mostly. All right, let's do this, ladies. Ooh, it's kind of hard to open when your hands are. I can't open it. My hands are too moisturized. Jeez. I really can't open it though. Okay, we can't try it together because I can't get it to open. It looks like there is almost like a part of the seal that's like, like the part of the metal is like attached. So I'm gonna have to perform a little surgery when I get home and then we'll try it on, but that's stupid. I feel like such an idiot. Can't open my lip gloss. We'll try it later. I'll let you know. Okay friends, so after breaking the actual seal on this, cause that's what it took to open it, it's now open. So let's try it. And, and mind you, uh, it smells like French vanilla. <gasps> so let's see. Let's try it together. It's supposed to be plumping, which scares me a little. Cause plumping sometimes means burning. Ow, there's like a sharp thing on that. Ooh, I can feel it. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Are they getting bigger? Are they getting bigger? It feels nice. It smells like vanilla, but it feels like um, like a minty type tingling sensation. It's nice. I could deal with that. And it's not like, it's not too sticky. I like it. Good. How's it taste? My tongue feels weird now. <laughs> but yeah, again, this was in Dominique. Can you see that? Focus on me. Focus on me. You can kind of see it. But it's a buxom lip gloss. It's pretty. It's just a nice little, like, shine. Yas. I like it. Do they look plumper? I think they look the same. I don't care, that's not why I bought it. So I like it, thumbs up from me, yay! So I stumbled upon people on YouTube talking about like their salon nightmares or like salon disasters and like it's just hypnotizing. And I hope I've never done any of these things to people. I'm pretty sure I would know if I did, but like, these things are horrible, and something I can't stand, though, is, like, they'll be, like, for instance, ooh, what's going on there? They'll be, like, for instance, um, like, I was reading through the comments on one of them, and it was, like, they only used Olaplex number two for five minutes, blah, 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 like, like, I don't think it worked, and I'm, like... That's literally the instructions. Like, you apply it and you leave it on for five minutes. Like, that literally is the amount of time it's supposed to be on your hair. Stuff like that is, like, so annoying to me when they're, like, like, if you don't use something correctly and then you're, like, it didn't work, blah, blah, blah. And it's, like, well, because you didn't use it correctly. Or, like, someone saying something didn't work because, like, they're just, they're just ignorant. Like, they just don't know how it's supposed to be used and they're going to try and act like they're educated. And it's, like, no. You don't know what you're talking about. Like, just stop talking. I hate that. Um, oh, and if you can tell, I painted my nails. I was watching another YouTube video, and this girl had this gorgeous, like, it was not, it was a purple, but it was almost like a blue purple, and it was so pretty, and I was like, oh, I should put some nail polish on, and I started looking through my colors, hoping to find a similar color to what she had on, but I don't have anything like that. The only purple I have is, like, a pastel purple, but I came across this beauty, 
which I haven't worn in a while. And I was like, yes, let me put that on. I don't know if you can tell, but like, it's like metallic. And yes, I have it all over my fingernails because, or all over my skin. Cause guess what? If you just put it on like that and wash your hands like two, three times, it's gone. So why am I gonna like sit there and take 20 minutes to paint each nail when I could just get a little bit on the skin and then wash my hands and we cool. And we cool. So that's how I paint my nails and I don't care. And usually I paint them at night, meaning I'm gonna wash my hands at least two, three times before I go out of the house. So I don't care. I don't care. Um, and the cool thing about this is um, the formula, like usually most nail polishes, you have to put on two or three coats to get like the color of the bottle, which is normal by the way. Again, I hate people who are like, I don't like if I have to put on two coats, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, that literally is the instructions. Like two to three coats is normal for nail polish to get the color of the bottle. Can't stand it. But um, this one's like super opaque. But I think I remember the last time I wore this, when you go to take it off, the like metallic part, so the silver part underneath, like does not come off. Like it takes forever to remove. But knowing me, I usually end up picking my nail polish off and not actually taking it off with a remover. So that won't be a problem anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to watching these horror stories. And uh, yeah, they're pretty entertaining. Side note, a lot of people aren't very good at ombres because uh, I've watched three of these so far and all of them were people wanting ombres that did not turn out well, like an ombre balayage mixture, which is so exciting that I did mine myself and it actually turned out good. The girls at the salon were like, yeah, it looks so good, blah, blah, blah. Once someone even asked me for my formula, I was like, yes, girl, let me give it to you, yes. So I'm going to go back to watch my stuff. Bye.